the bitter end on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me is both Stephen Merchant and Carl, the K-man, Pilkington. Oh. So, you've already got that. That's safe. It's only four minutes past. You've got placebo and you've got us three. So-, so You're definitely going home with that. Yeah, whatever that's happens. safe. That's- that's on its way to the hospice. <laughs> exactly. You've banked that. Yeah. Now, do you want to gamble all that? To go on and listen for another two hours. Well, you could walk away now and you've, you're up. <laughs> yeah, you're up. You're, you're right. already up. Right, that's brilliant. You have not wasted or any time. Do you want to gamble that against another two hours? It might be shoddy. It might go downhill, but it might get even better, Carl. What do you say they do? Listen for another two hours. Yeah. See, yeah. we shouldn't have done that. We shouldn't have asked Carl because oh, a lot God. of them now are already taking what they've got, and what they've got <laughs> yeah, is yeah. great, Rick. What they've got is lovely. <laughs> yeah. They're loving that. They're going to enjoy oh, that. We have got monkey news. We've got cheap as chimps. That's not the same thing. <laughs> How many <laughs> radio stations do. have got two ape-related simian features? Rick, can I point out now, a lot of people are making that mistake. A lot of people are thinking that Monkey News is exactly the same as cheap as chimps. It's it is not. not. Let's keep it's that not. clear. It's not. It's in the same ballpark, but it's, it's, no, it's not the same. They're, apes, they're involved. They're involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've also got some great music. Yeah. We've got an amusing sketch about a fly. <laughs> 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 oh, it's important. Oh, and Mystique is dropping in. <laughs> Let's hope the Mystique ladies are coming in. <laughs> so yeah, no, I want to kick off with a song that is, you know you've got like half a dozen posing songs that when you're sort of like between 14 and 18, they were the ones you'd put on to get ready to go out or just pose around or, or be that pop star or think you're on stage or whatever or in the video. Yeah. And embarrassingly, I remember, I dug this out and I remembered I used to post this like a mother f uh, when I was about 14, right? This is Street Life by Roxy Music. You used to do- Mine was, uh, mine was Oops Upside Your Head. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. was just me on the floor in my bedroom. One day, I thought one day I thought there'll be other people in this imaginary boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Elbows going everywhere, yeah. knocking over vases. Yeah. But then I remember uh, later, it was Black Lace's Superman, which is something similar. Do you remember that? That was brilliant. Wow. Well, Spray! Ski! Da ding! Da ding! If you've, uh, <laughs> um, out there in, uh, Radio Land got any, uh, funny, <laughs> funny jokes, then <laughs> call in Email on Email them in, cause we need some. Oh. That's why I used to jump around to. What would you have been wearing while you were listening to that? Um, well, probably, um, Brutus Gold Jeans. Classy. Um, or green flash, uh, pumps. Sure. Any socks? Uh, I would have had socks, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd have probably been wearing the shirt my mum got me from Tesco's, which was, uh, which was again a Brutus shirt, and, uh, it had women in bikinis eating bananas. <laughs> <laughs> on a chaise long. Of um, it is. What, so lots of small ones or yeah, just yeah, one big yeah, one? Yeah, lots of little small ones, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, so that was that. <laughs> a trilby? Um, I didn't Have wear you, a trilby. Did you have no. a toy with a trilby? I remember when I was, when I, I went on holiday about that time and I was about 14 and my, my older brother had this leather jacket and I was on the, I was on the beach, um, just, you know, in, in my shorts and that and, uh, I went to get an ice cream or something I said, can I borrow a jacket? And, uh, I put his jacket on, and I was frozen on the beach thinking, they are all looking at me, because <laughs> I look so good. And yeah. I also had a, um, a straw Stetson. <laughs> and I really thought, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm turning into quite a man. <laughs> yes, I'm quite a catch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just thinking, they're, they're just thinking, they're going, they're looking, they're going, who's that dude? Is yeah. he American? Is he, hold on, is he, has he just come from, uh, some sort of road day? Wait is a it? minute, I'm in a bikini, and I like bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I could be the woman for him. <laughs> oh dear. What was so, that? Didn't you have a t-shirt or jacket or something you wore to university that was pretty classy? Didn't it have like some, some foul language on it or something? What was that? Uh, yeah, I had, uh, <laughs> when I was, uh, this was when I was 18, yeah. right, the Christmas, or the birthday before I went to, uh, uh, university, you got two sweatshirts, one black, one red, had bullshit on them. <laughs> Just done the little bow. Alright. And the red one, all my clothes, the first wash, everything was pink. All my white shirts and my white socks, of course, because I just put it in, I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so, that I was a man at university with pe all pink clothes except for a rather nice red, uh, <laughs> sweatshirt with bullshit on it. <laughs> oh, so, uh, again, turning yeah. into quite yes, a man. Quite the man. Was that, uh, was that pre or post the time you washed your clothes by getting in the bath? And that was pre, that was the second year when I was in, to had to go and dig, at our Hall's, Hall's residence, so I had a bath and you had to sort of like pay for a bath, you know, so I thought two birds with one stone, I got in the bath with all my white shirts, because I was going through sort of, look, you know, wearing a white shirt and tie, that sort of, you know, David Sylvian sort of mm -hmm, fire mm -hmm. and everything, and uh, uh, Daz, 
and I just <laughs> wriggled around in it. Oh, God. I washed myself. It's quite a good exfoliate. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I didn't do it again because uh, it was f- sort of s- not good for the skin, Dan. Quite sore, is it, around yeah, the sort yeah, of yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. So there you go. Roxy Music <laughs> and Street Life. <laughs> Carl. Thoughts? Um, I just was, just was working out time, really, just, we've got, we've got, well, last week we had a lot of stuff that we didn't manage to cram in. <laughs> Which was good. So I'm just looking at, we've got, we have got Cheapest Chimps coming. Uh, Songs of Phrase. Oh, we have got some that. stuff. Yeah. Why don't we kick off with that so we don't forget it? What? Cheapest Chimps or Songs of Phrase, or the film thing, we need we'll to do the film done yesterday. We've also got a new feature, Cheeky Freak of the Week. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, incidentally, I should just point out now that, uh, someone has, uh, Ashley Phillips has emailed in, um, because obviously with, uh, Songs of Phrase, what Carl does, for those who have not heard it, he takes a phrase that you might hear commonly on the show, and then he uses various There's songs. There's Chinese kid. Was the one you never see an old bloke eating a Mars <laughs> bar! And, uh, yeah, as I say, he uses different chunks of songs, and he makes up that phrase. And, uh, so he has made some suggestions here, Carl. Uh, cos he thinks that the more common, Carl, you're an idiot, fool, etc., perhaps a little overheard, he'd like to, uh, maybe hear, Carl, Paul's, I don't know where to start, <laughs> which is a common one from Ricky. <laughs> Carl, which bit of that do you actually think is true? <laughs> and then there's the regular dialogue between the three of us. Carl, well, you know, it could happen. Me, yeah. sure, sure. Ricky, no, 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 Carl, it could never happen. Not now, not ever. You're an idiot, play a record. <laughs> so maybe some of those you could use. <laughs> next time. Uh, yeah. Well, will we, get, will we get it going then for right. today? Yeah. This week, we're, uh, do you remember the story about my auntie having wind for five minutes? <laughs> yeah? Your yeah. auntie, was it your auntie Nora? Auntie Nora. Um, she was on a lot of medication and stuff. <laughs> sure. And I think that's a side effect that comes with it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she had wind for five minutes, so I thought we'd, we'd dig that one out. Okay. A classic <laughs> line. Uh, me auntie had wind for five minutes. Okay. So I've got loads of songs here. <laughs> How many is that? Um, me auntie had wind for five minutes. Seven tracks. Oh, that's tricky. Oh, why do you learn? Okay, so you need to identify, if you can be bothered, the artists. Yeah, we'll that's what we're after, isn't it? Alright. Okay. Let's Play it a few, play it a few times. Just remember, as many as you can get, because the yeah. winner would probably be, you know, it gets five or something. So don't worry if you there's a couple you can't get because you could still probably win. Here go we on. Go again. Can I just what's the email address? <laughs> it's well, if they go to xfm.co.uk forward slash Ricky, they can just they send can, them through there and they that. Can send them through that way. Right. Uh, which of these is the uh, the prize bag? Yeah, don't we get them mixed up? <laughs> that's that's the one, is it, Carl? Yeah. All right, so let's see what hot treats you could win. Um, as I get them out, Carl, do you want to play it once more? Yeah. Win. <laughs> <laughs> I recognise all of them except one. Yeah. Right, let me see what we've got two. here. Uh, <laughs> oh, once again, Carl, you excelled yourself with an arbitrary collection of DVDs. Just hanging around, were they? Just hanging around. Um, again, I'm always interested to know which of our XFM listeners, um, has tastes as broad as this. Go on. Uh, we've got the recent B- BBC adaptation of The Hound of the Baskervilles. Brilliant. Mm, okay, fair enough. That's we've right. got, uh, what's this? Is this the, this is, um, something involving Air, the band Air. I yeah. think it's a, a single at best. Yeah. Uh, this is probably worth having. This is the current Flaming Lips album. So you've excelled yourself there, actually, Carl. That's not bad. An XFM mouse map. They're, oh, uh, they're as common as muck. Oh, hold on. That's a ma- you can't give away that mouse mat. It's a piece of foam. <laughs> now, I was going to dismiss the um, the oddball sci fi movie K Pax featuring Kevin Spacey and Jeff Bridges. But, Carl, is it it's signed, signed by Kevin it's Spacey? Signed, yeah. Yeah. It's signed, yeah. It's an actual. Uh, so that, so uh, win that and put it on eBay for £4.50. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh,. Man alive. What is that? Just look at oh, their faces. Oh, no! Carl! Don't give that. No one wants that unless it's ironic. Series 1 and 2 on DVD of popular uh, northern based sitcom Bread. Buy it, sell it, the game's getting hard. Cos someone's <laughs> dealing you a losing card. <laughs> all right, they all had a go, all the actors <laughs> had a line on that song. Oh. Uh, play the clips again. Play the clips again, they really want to win it now. Here we go. Win. <laughs> I can't believe this hasn't been done before. <laughs> it's extraordinary. Because right. most of our ideas have. <laughs> Lucky Man on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. The emails, I should point out, aren't flooding in on the No, but it always takes time when they go through the website. Does it? Yeah. 
Okay. So th they'll be arriving in a bit. Do you want to play it once more for those that just joined us? All right then. Brilliant. <laughs> My auntie had wind for five minutes. Brilliant. Genius. Name the artists. Rick, I uh, sometimes I sometimes um. <clears throat> Get off at the tube at uh, Tottenham Court Road if, I'm, if I want to look at the record shops before I yeah. come into uh, XFM. And I, I always cut through Chinatown. Oh, yeah. And every time I come through Chinatown, the same thought always strikes me. I always feel like I want to just gather all the little locals, all the little Chinese fellas, just <laughs> gather them round and just go, guys, in what way is this a town? <laughs> It's not, is this it? is not, at best, what you've got here <laughs> is a novelty street. Yeah, Gerard Street is not a town, no, mate. No, it's not a town. You've it's had this since you put a little years. pagoda. It's not expanding. Yeah, yeah. You can't just call it Chinatown and claim it, it's a town. If I was them, though, and you'd do that, I'd go, I'd go what, what, what are you talking about? It is a town. It is a town. It's what, our town. Way? It is a town. It's our town. We've got all lots of where's stuff. Your, where's your church? Where's your mayor? We d the needed. We got a. Got a betting shop? Not enough. It is. You see, you, well, all you've got here is restaurants. No. That's, that's no, not no, 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 no. Got a little supermarket with snacks. <laughs> what does it sell? Snacks. Specifically, I would it's imagine crackers. crackers. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to buy a dragon? Do you no. want to buy an ornamental dragon? If I if I wanted to buy one, this is where I would. Do you want to buy? Do you want to buy a gold dragon? Is it made of gold? No, it's made of plastic. plastic. But it's sprayed gold. Do you want to buy that? It's not a town. <laughs> it is a <laughs> it's town. It's not a town. Yeah. And I, it annoys me because when I first came to London, I genuinely thought Chinatown was going to be this amazing, like you know, like I mean, what they've got there is you'd, I, hear, uh, you'd hear a gong and <sighs> yeah, every exactly. time we went in there, right? and there'd be rickshaws and, and, uh, and people uh, walking on those little sort of wooden shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know those ones? <laughs> They're brilliant. They are <laughs> just clomping around in them, but nothing. It's nothing. Hats. It's just. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It just reminds me of, um, have you ever been to any of those sort of museums? You tend to have them up north where they've got like, you, you sort of sit in a little cart and it sort of rides you through kind of, I don't know, it might be, um, Newcastle, the Victorian the year. era. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Could I have a, um, half a pound of those sweets, please? <laughs> exactly. Of course you can. If there were some animatronic men, it would just be an, ex an exhibit. Yeah, yeah. Although the, 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 their, their, their concession to be a hundred years ago is that there's some scales. Exactly. In the shop, and there's a horse outside. Yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> that's it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The traditional sounds and smells of old England, and and the voice of going. Of course, there was no television. <laughs> exactly. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, welcome to. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> Chinatown. Ding 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 ding. So it's not. Yeah, it's a good point. Is that a piece of traditional music? <laughs> ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> yeah. Is that some traditional <laughs> Chinese music, or is that music that someone in this country wrote, <laughs> thinking it sounded like Chinese? I music? think it was the. Uh, was it the Vapors, wasn't it? Oh, is that what it is? That? Dun, 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 so dun, that's dun, the music. Dun, 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 but are you I sure they didn't that. take that from yeah, some no, other source? Yeah, no, it's that, it's that pentatonic scale, isn't it? What is it called? Ding, the, ding, 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 what is the, it's the black notes on the piano. <laughs> right, that's the one I can play <laughs> along with EastEnders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I don't get with it? Go on. Right. China thing. Yeah, China thing. Because I always walk through it on the way to work. A mm. couple of things annoy me. First of all, I think it's bad business. Just because. If you've got a ch if you've got a Chinese restaurant, put it somewhere where there isn't any others. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good point. <laughs> yeah, but it's also a community. They're not, they're not just a theme park for 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 other people. Uh, I, I ended up. I remember going out one night with Suzanne and some friends, and you got there, and there's so much choice. It's that dilemma of, oh, forget it. Well, and not we really. You specifically, do you well, fancy well, Chinese? Well, no. Because no, it, why do you go to the one with the dead ducks hanging in the window? That's well, my favourite. That's the other thing as well. It's like. <laughs> Normally, you put your good stuff in the window. If, that, <laughs> if that's what's in the window. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Uh, and the other thing that annoys me, uh, walking through it today, uh, there's always lard on the floor. <laughs> what, in the street? In the street. It is, honestly. I'm scared I'm going to slip over. It's because all the restaurants and that. But why is it? Oh, that's another point. Well, it's not, it's not oozing out of the restaurants. No, but why is it? Why is it? I don't know what they do. <laughs> Careful! Listen, no, but why is that's it? why they used to wear those little wooden shoes. <laughs> no, okay, let's. We've got. Yeah, but the thing is, as well, they try and wash it with water, which doesn't work with no. lard, and it's like oil. Famously, yeah. Do you mm. know what I mean? Even I know that. Yeah, you got to yeah. scrub it. So you think so? Sorted that out. Yeah, you think they'd know, wouldn't you? Yeah. All right. Anyway. Um, thanks for your thoughts on Chinatown, Carl. Right, I'm gonna play this thing again, cause it is a bit slow today, the email. Oh, yeah. uh, cause right. it's too hard! It's not too hard, there's just clips of songs. What are the artists? Email in. <laughs> XFM.co.uk. He's getting annoyed cause he put the work in and no. then <laughs> He's getting annoyed! 
Do you reckon we'll get away with it? You see, you've worried me now. Yeah, I don't know. He's I, worried me. My apolo apologies, uh, if you're offended at all by my reference to those little wooden shoes. <laughs> 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 Uh, don't, well, that's oh, not gonna help, Rick. Dear. That, uh, that Chinese oh, women uh, used to wear. I don't think they still wear them. We've, we, we've only had, uh, one we, complaint, haven't we? We've, we got the, that we got a, from yeah. the Sony is that one, uh, about talking about the swan's penis. But, uh, yeah. you know. Things about complaints is that people complain all the time. It's whether it's upheld, because it goes from authority. And then they have to go, oh yeah, look, that was, that was in poor taste or uh, pre war shit or, or Some whatever. of the things you've said on TV though, you must have been stung. I've, well, I've, see, I've only had, again, I've only had one upheld, one serious slap on the wrist for some I said. But, um, the, what was he saying? Can uh, you repeat it? Well, I can, je yeah. I was talking about, and it was a true story. I was talking about this little old man who his, his, um, daughter was taking to home because he used to fry up bacon and rub it round his, for, to get the dog to lick them. Right. And you got a complaint? Yeah. And that was it. That's that's why you got a complaint. Yeah, yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> well, he said it on songs of praise. <laughs> <laughs> they said yeah. they said it was in poor taste. I suppose. What other complaints? What you know the most. Oh, you know the biggest complaint ever on TV. The most complaints ever for anything on TV was the showing of the Last Temptation of Christ. Yeah. Do you know the second? Yeah, the s second was, was I think Anne Robinson um, put in the Welsh into Room One Hundred One. What, because she didn't like them and that? Yeah, she just said, well, they're, you know, they're going in the net, you know. Can un she can said it slightly more eloquently than that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can un- the people or the place? I don't know. I think, I think it was the place and therefore the people. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? <laughs> no, well, you know me mum and dad have sort of, uh, moved from Manchester, they've retired now in Wales. Oh, right? yeah. And it is, uh... <laughs> Look at his face, turning his nose up! No, but... It it is pretty depressing. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of them places that uh, it's like you go back in time and that when you go there. I mean, maybe the major cities there. Maybe Cardiff is all right. What? Even coming from Manchester, it's like going back in time. It's just uh, it's like one of them places. That w it feels like every day is Sunday. Do you know what I mean? It's it's just depressing and grey and slate Lots of vicars walking around going, I'm late. <laughs> well, yeah, here's, here's the sort of attitude they have, right? This, and this is true, because my mum and dad live there and that, right? And they love it, it's alright, it's an healthy place to go when you get older and that. But, this this is why they don't move on in Wales. Well, because it's like to <laughs> make another, no, no, sorry no. to any Welsh people listening, we're not saying you don't move on, Carl is. No, but- Sorry about the little Chinese shoes again The thing well. is, it's good that, in a way that they do do that, and they don't want to be like, you know, rushing about everywhere, because- the way London is isn't that great either, is it? Because sure. it's totally opposite mm. here, right? Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not having a go. It is a bit dull. I think even people who live there will agree with me, okay. right? But like one of the shops that my mum and dad use, right? It's only a little sort of villagey type shop. Uh, they can't be bothered staying open for hours and hours, right? Because there's not enough people use the shop. Yeah. So what you do is uh, they get used to what you buy, and they leave it out. They put it in a phone box outside. They put it in a phone box? Yeah. So it doesn't get wet. So my dad's loving that. Well, Once yeah. he found that out, it was like, brilliant. But that, how is that a bad thing? That's brilliant. Well, it's not. For other people, it is for me dad. Because he's picking up all sorts of stuff. Sure. Oh Pickings. no, he's not! Oh, yeah. He's not nicking other people's shopping. Well, it's not like nicking, is it? Because it's not theirs yet. <laughs> oh! And you've stitched him up on radio. Well, of course, because yeah. they're gonna think, who's that who is there in town with a mank accent? Who, who, keeps, ma who yeah. keeps making phone calls? <laughs> and is getting fatter? Yeah. That's the- You've stitched him I right love up, that, right, I Carl. love that, that your dad was excited when he found out- oh. I can't believe, I can't believe that he's moved there, he's retired to this little village <laughs> where it's based on trust and community and he is abusing it, he's using his scally mank ways. Bloody hell, Lakers, there's no bread again. <laughs> There's old women Was going hungry, yeah. their cats aren't getting fed, and your father is just- I can't- oh, that's obscene. That's obscene. Oh, I think it's a die thief. That oh. fella from <laughs> Manchester. <laughs> I don't even think they've got Sky there yet, have they? They can't listen, they won't- they won't know what's- I think you've stitched him right up. I hope you have, actually. I hope he goes down for it. I hope he's hounded out of the community like Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. They should get burning torches, go up to the set mansion- fire to his, Set fire to his cottage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
Right, well, <laughs> He's uh, out of the choir. <laughs> yeah. About tomorrow. Feeder. Right. Listener, I'm talking to you now. Um, have you seen these posters around with me and Steve on it, right? It's embarrassing, right? We were mucking around at a photo session and XFM wanted to do some posters. We couldn't be bothered to do them again, so we let him have this one. Irony comes back to haunt you and it looks look, like I think I'm Simon Temple or summer and Steve's all right. But we think that Carl should be in it. Definitely. Carl doesn't want to be in it, but it looks like everyone listens to this show for- for Carl's basically, you know, innocent stupidity and some great tracks. Exactly. They don't listen for us anymore, no. Steve. So I think it should be a campaign to get Carl on the poster. Yeah. Well, I should point out that I think XFM are more than happy to have him on the poster. So it's just him? You don't want to be on there, do you? There's no- there's no need for me to be on it. Of course there is. Why not? I get so many emails here as I'm sat during the show reading them. So many emails saying what does Carl look like, well, what pictures to, of Carl- if you go to xfm.co.uk forward slash Ricky, We've got those film bits on there, those video mock-ups where I'm part of it. You can sort of. That's not enough, Carl. That. People want to see your face. You're part of the show. Not you're an intrinsic part of the show. Yeah, yeah we we'll get we we'll, we'll get we'll you on the uh, poster. Yeah. Why? It's, it'll be too much on a poster. They can only take in so much. What it's do you deep. mean? They can only take it's in good. so much. Yeah, it's good with two people. No, it's enough. So what are what are groups do then? Well, they haven't. It's like it's like Ringo Starr is being left off the cover of Sgt Pepper. Yeah. Or, or, um, Rutherford doesn't get in a uh, look-in with Genesis. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know. Which would be outrageous. Yeah. Oh, uh, so, oh, oh, sorry Tony Banks, you can't <laughs> be in this one. Yeah. It's just me and- <laughs> you will be very- you see, you look like the Collins, yeah, so you've got to be in there. I don't there. photograph that well either. You're joking. Well, Is it because the shine- you look like a little cue ball, because it just shines off the top? But a lot of people as well, I should d they- pe you should dispel the myth, a lot of people think for some reason that you're fat. A lot of people say to me, is he fat? No, but that's because they haven't got much hair, so it looks like my head's big. No, they haven't even seen you. They just think from listening to the show that you're fat. That's because you're northern. They think you just eat chips yeah. and complain about the weather. Well. Complain about the south. I just think you could answer a lot of your critics. But yeah. then, but then, you see, what I don't like about this world, a lot of people judge people on the way they look. Yeah. Oh. Like hey. you do. Uh, if, if, if only more people thought like that, Steve. But Carl, you judge people on the way they look. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. But I couldn't <laughs> with me, could I? Because I don't know what I look like. What? If I was listening to me on the radio, I wouldn't be able to say, oh, he's a, you know, blah, 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 and slag me off and that, because I don't know what I look like. And I quite like that. Do you know what I mean? I've lost. I don't know what Absolutely you're talking about. Absolutely lost. It's, it, just believe me, right? I'm right on this one. It's best if, if you leave it. Well, we're not going to leave it. We're going to get you on the poster. Yeah. I mainly have to see myself on videotape this morning. That's oh, I, I showed him. Um, um, I, you know, uh, the animal show I did, the show. Yes. I'm doing a video and I did behind the scenes footage. And I've got a. Uh, you've seen it, haven't you? I feel a little bit of Carl on there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah. It's lovely. He can't believe it. He said, Is it playing slow? Because <laughs> he's so slow. And I come into the office going, All right. It, that's how you I'm talk. I'm head as well. I look like I'm looking into a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy with it. I just think that if we're willing to 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 uh, if Ricky's willing to use his celebrity profile for the sake of the show, yeah. I'm willing to look like a, you know, let's say a fairly handsome kind of cool customer. I think at least the very least, Carl, is that you appear on there as well. Yeah. You could dress. Are up you smart. are you worried that you'll look the worst out of all three of us? Uh, who am I standing next to? I'm next to Steve. <laughs> I'm, pr I'm fairly confident. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way it's so predictable. You pull the string because you know what it is. It's <laughs> you pull the string. Oh, <laughs> uh, what were we talking about for? Compl oh, so tell yeah. You know the, the the most complaints ever. The last temptation of Christ. I haven't seen it. Um, uh, what is it? It's Scorsese, isn't it? It's Martin Scorsese, and I I I've bought the film actually recently because I was intrigued to see it, but I've not actually watched it. But from what I understand, the reason that it was uh, so outrageous is because it has a whole sequence which shows what it would be like if Jesus had lived his life and not martyred himself on the cross, but lived his life as a human being. Part of which is him having sex, and uh, so I think that was chiefly what the outrage was that it was showing this godly man to be, you know, as human as as he was supposedly. You know, because he's supposed to be human as well. So, uh, so that's the reason. That was the reason that there was complaints there. I don't know. I haven't seen the film. Well, I can't you, you see him, do you? Do you, you see him having sex? I think yes. Although it is an actor, Carl. Yeah, it's not actually out. Jesus Christ. It's not the real. It's not the real yeah. Robert Powell. <laughs> no, it's an actor <laughs> yeah. playing Robert Powell. Is <laughs> yeah. that, you see, sex on films and all that, right? When I was growing up, I'd go. be watching. No, just just saying an example of this, really, right? When I was growing up as a kid, and I'd be you know watching films with my dad, mm. right? 
he'd really be enjoying a film, yeah. right? And then a sex scene would happen. Right. And he'd go- On film? On, in or just film. behind you. Yeah. In the yeah. film, a sex scene would happen. <laughs> Your brother up to his old tricks again. <laughs> and he'd, he'd get up and go and make a cup of tea. Right? Right. Typhoon? That he'd stolen from <laughs> some sort of telephone box? <laughs> and like, even recently, he'll- he thinks it, it ruins a film. Do you know what I mean? Because there's no need for it to happen, is there? Really? Yes. Why? Sometimes it's it what it's warranted. If the film itself is yeah, no, some about films it isn't though. Some uh, some no, films not, it of isn't. Of course, some films it's arbitrary. I think I think the films that um, him and his dad watch together on Channel Five. Yeah. Um, <laughs> probably not. Is it only on Channel no, Five in your you house? Know, let's put it, yeah, if you're watching, you know, I don't know, a late night Friday night, you know, from 1983. Yeah, illegal briefs. <laughs> 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 a beautiful lawyer has to defend a man who may be a killer. She falls in love with him, but does she does she know the real man? <laughs> oh, oh dear. You know, you know what I mean, though. Lest you forget, of course, that I uh, love heat <laughs> with the bloke that is now in. Go on. You know, of course, that I, according to the uh, Internet Movie Database, I um, once appeared in one of those films in the film Killer Image, a Canadian film, I believe, from 1989. According to that computer, uh, it's all uh, wrong. Website, isn't it? It's all wrong. It's, it's all, all wrong. wrong. Of course, it is. Yeah. Uh, apparently, I was in that, and I played the role of Kirk. Was it a porn thing? Uh, no, 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 I think it's just an erotics, really. Oh, right. I suppose it you only had a very small part, though, didn't you? Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no, do, do you know what I mean? Sometimes you don't need to go that far. Say, like, in this Jesus programme, right? <laughs> Film. What's it called? The Last Temptation of Christ. <laughs> Jesus, look, talking! You know what? What's his name? Is it Ralph in The Simpsons? Yes. I draw the kitty cat. It's like talking to that. Yeah. No, but, right, this Temptation thing, right? <laughs> Do you know, the, we, you know often we don't get that many complaints on this show. We don't get very many complaints. And I think that's either because there's no listeners, or B, it's because most people agree with Carl, and that terrifies I know. me. Or they let him off, because it's like, you know, you can plead insanity, you can go mental and yeah. kill a few people, but they go, oh, he's, he's, he's a bit backwards. Exactly. No, but was, was it because, like, they're saying that he was having it away? Or is it because you saw it? it what got the complaints? The complaint was the very suggestion, the suggestion. that Christ It was, it was a blasphemous sex. thing, not the fact that you saw an actor's knob. So what about if they just cut it down a bit and you, you like, saw the little stable door closing? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the baby Jesus having sex! <laughs> it was the grown man! <laughs> the stable door shutting! No, but oh, do you know what the nativity do? scene! <laughs> Ah, oh, that is brilliant. That yeah, is then, the wise men saying, I can't believe we brought Murray, we should have brought condoms. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. There's two for one offering, Boots. <laughs> yeah, that's not what we were thinking. This oh, consent. It, <laughs> it's just, it's always awful. Should we apologise now to the Christian, Christian church as yeah. well? So Sorry we, to the little Chinese fellas, uh, little Welsh fellas, and the little Christian fellas. We haven't yeah. said anything wrong. No. No. It's like, you see, when I, when I was <laughs> growing up- Stable door. <laughs> I love the idea that in Carl's world, he was born in a stable, just thought, well, I yeah. love this place. Yeah. I'm just gonna stay here the rest of my days. <laughs> this is good here. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> but, but when I was watching telly with my mum and dad, I mean, it still happens now, right? My dad will sort of go, oh, ruined. Good film ruined. Right, yeah. if, if some sex scene happens. But, why but what are we talking it? about sex scene? Are we talking about kissing or are we talking about, um, uh, penetration and looking at the camera? Going, no, just, just, are you enjoying this, Pilkingtons? Just, what are we talking about? What is sort of extreme levels are we talking about? Right, last time I was down there, right? Yeah. Um, what was it? Uh, meet, meet Joe, meet Joe Black. Meet Joe Black. Meet, meet, meet Joe Black is a terrible yeah, film. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> uh, there was, it's a good film, and then, you know it's gonna happen, cause like the music comes in, Brad yeah. Pitt's keeping quiet, a woman's eyeing, eyeing him up. Sure. So <laughs> imagine- <laughs> Ah! My mum's- my mum's worked it out already and she's going, uh, anything on the other side, love? She knows, she, she knows. She knows it's, you know, something's, uh, uh, well, and so you can be enjoying a film and you can be an hour and ten in and then some spidey senses of one of them can go, she will turn it over and the other one goes, well, yeah, right. Are you sure it's not them protecting you? from scenes of sex, so that they're, what they're thinking is, what if Carl gets the idea to have sex? Yeah. That could lead to procreation, we don't want any more like him. We've yeah. got to, we've got to end the line here. You sure it's not the doctor keep calling out going, you are keeping away from <laughs> yeah, exactly. women, aren't you? He must never find are out Are you sure they're done. not embarrassed because they're watching a yeah. sex scene with their son? It, it happens all, every time, right? There's two things that my mum does, right? It's that, if there's sex scene on the telly, she'll go, mm. uh, you know, anything on the other side, love? Uh, and the other thing she always says, if ever there's anything on the telly with Elvis in it, yeah, she goes, oh, I like him. Right, and we all know, we sat there, we know what she's gonna say next. Yeah. So you don't even bother saying why, right? And she goes, uh, he likes fat, ugly people. 
He what? He liked fat, ugly people. He didn't always go for like the good-looking fans in the crowd. What Elvis did? Yeah. Right. That was always the thing. And ch I'm like sorry. Now hold on. I I don't know what we're doing now with our lives, Steve. Right, wait, wait a minute. Right. So your mum says two things, right? She either says, uh, "Is there anything else on the other side?" Or I like Elvis. There's a pause because you know what she's going to say next. She says he liked fat, ugly people. How often does this occur? Well, th because they've got like you know Sky. There's a lot of those channels on. They like the music channels. So Elvis always comes on. There's either an Elvis film. There's like you know a classic hit by him on. And she go. I like Elvis. He likes fat, ugly people. And what do you mean he liked fat, ugly people? Is she a fat, ugly person? Because there's that sort of special Vegas show, isn't there, where he's dancing about, right? Mm. And he's got loads of scarves around his neck. Towels. Yeah, and like he always hands them down to the fat, ugly ones. Right. And I always say it's because they're the fat, you know, they've got a sweaty face because they, they can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what world they I live in! I don't know in. why we've gone to this subject. Watching, what sort of world are you going when you're watching this <laughs> face? And what do you mean fat, ugly ones? You mean they're in the front, they're sweating a lot because they're a bit yeah, chubby. Yeah, so she thinks, you know, is giving them a towel because it's but like- he's really going, wipe your face, you're putting me off, you yeah. fat cow. Stop sweating near me. There's another one. What? So, hairy Chinese kids. Yeah. Jesus. We haven't slagged off every Chinese kids. We, we we slagged off Chinese. We didn't slag anyone off. We just said they really haven't got a town as such and they wear shoes. What do we say? Oh, yeah. Little wooden shoes. And what the way I just don't know how we got onto Elvis and big fat ugly women. I don't know where we. I don't know how we did sidestepped you see, from the last temptation across. Did you see that fat um, girls and feeders Go program? Go a minute. Hey? What's Tom that? Petty first. Oh, brilliant. It's a great song. Breakdown. How many Tom other Petty. radio shows have talked about Last Temptation of Christ, China to Home, yeah. fat ugly women? Yeah. More than 60 minutes. Exactly. Incredible. Cheering Breaks, Painkiller on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. I should point out now, Rick, that the general consensus from the, uh, the listeners is that Carl should definitely be on the poster. But I know obviously. that, I know- I, There's a, an interesting email Of course here. they should, they're, they're it just right. says, um, I'd love to see Carl on the, uh, on the poster, especially as I'm watching him on the webcam today and wearing that shirt, doesn't he look like Charlie Brown? <laughs> 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 it looks just like Charlie Brown from the Peanuts cartoon. Oh my god. That's it. From now on, if anyone ever asks me what, what it Carl does looks look like. like Charlie Brown. Oh, <laughs> I just, just it's like great him. because Charlie Brown has got that thing, you've got less features than Morph. It's just a round head and there's human aspects. It's just the bare minimum. When I draw a cartoon of him, it's so easy. Yeah. Ah. The thing is, right, if I go on the poster, this is what I'm worried about, where do you go from there? What do you mean? Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Do you know, like before, you were talking about the complaint that a TV channel got about some fella putting bacon. Yeah. Yeah. That was me. Yeah. Yeah. You were talking about a fella. I didn't put the bacon on. But yeah, I was talking about it, and they yeah. got a complaint. Yeah. Right. Now he had to do that to get a kick. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you go from there? And it's the same for me on a poster. Once they've seen me. <laughs> yeah. And we get sued by the estate of Charles M. Schultz <laughs> for using yeah. without copyright his <laughs> most popular creation. Oh, it's just, it's just that if people don't know, it keeps them interested. They don't need to they're know not tuning like. in every week on the off chance that we'll. They're wondering what you look like. Yeah, but the ones who are, it just keeps them. It, they won't let them down there when they see your picture. It won't let them down. It's it won't be a exactly, letdown. It's exactly as it should Leave be. It. Anyway, yeah. competition, yeah. Right, let's get the answers. Let's get this out of the way. Songs of phrase. Songs of Phrase, uh, just in case you've just tuned in, it's a new feature we've been doing. Uh, we take songs and chop them up and that, and uh, it's, a f it's a phrase that has cropped up on the show a few times. This week we, we, uh, we were going back to the classic, me auntie had wind for five minutes. <laughs> going back to the classic. And uh, let's, uh, let's have a, this is the have answer, a listen. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Mama, mama, wind. Oh, right, so what you had there is you had the knack. Yeah. With my, 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 my Sharona. Uh-huh. Uh, Auntie was some Manson track. What? You don't even- you don't even know what it was. Um, Auntie Everything, I think it's called, some album track, right? Oh. Then you had Bill Medley, Jennifer Warns, I have had the time of my yeah. life. You had Bob Dylan. Wind. wind. Idiot wind. Blowing in the wind. Oh, blowing the wind, was it? Uh, what was after that? Four. Four was, uh, two, well, four, no, six, four eight, motorway. Dylan. Two, four, six, eight. Motorway. Yeah. Tom Robinson. Tom yeah. Robinson, yeah. That was a four. Then you had the five from Manfred Man- Manfred Man, five, yeah. four, three, two, one. We wrapped it up with a bit of five star yeah. for a minute, something about, uh- Can't wait. Uh, yeah, can't wait another can't minute. Can't wait another yeah. minute. So, 
they're the answers. Yeah, we're well, looking I'm for someone who I don't think we got anyone who had them all right. But nobody got all right. seven. Although in your little uh, answer list, then you only listed six because yeah. you got your numbers went out of sync in your own brain. Well done <laughs> once yeah. again. Smooth. I tell you what, Carl. Why don't you next week at least write down the answers for yourself? Don't need to. Well, you clearly do because <laughs> you just embarrass yourself. <laughs> don't need to. You've proved that you do. <laughs> Right, Fine, okay. anyway. Well, well done. I'm going to give it to, uh, Paul Tier, PJ Tier, because he got, uh, f uh five of the seven. Correct. Well done. So he gets- And he's things. getting that signed Kevin Spacey Yeah, DVD. if you can just email us your address as well and, uh, get them off to you today. All right. Brilliant. That's well what done, you're dealing Paul. with. So you've done that, you've done that competition, that's been put to bed. It's that's let's have we've a great tune, Rick, and then what else have we got? We've got some monkey news? We've, we've got, got some monkey, got monkey news. We've got cheap as chimps. We're doing the film thing. Right. Got the film thing. What film is it this week? Silence of the Lambs, you can be owning that up by three o'clock on VHS. <laughs> is it about four ninety nine? Bobby, is it? Is it? Yeah, thereabouts. Twentieth century boy. Come on, Mark. Some people want a twenty first century boy these days. <laughs> Mark Bowden there. A little bit out of date <laughs> on XFM one oh four point nine. <laughs> Ricky today, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Right, it's that time again, isn't it? <laughs> monkey news. Yeah, monkey news. <laughs> oh, monkey, monkey news. <laughs> right, if you're a new listener, this is where we do a bit of monkey news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine him giving his chance on a news program, yeah. like Newsnight Review or News at Ten. Uh, over to Carl Pilkington. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Monkey's gone mad again. <laughs> Go on. Right, we've we've done quite a lot of good stuff. The one that sort of kicked up most of the fuss was probably Ollie the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I love the fact that they're all monkeys. He's a chimpanzee. Well, right. He's an ape. Well, today, right, we're looking at one that's uh, <laughs> it's called Coco. Uh -huh. right. Oh yeah, the one, the sign language one. Well, what I've read about him is he speaks, right? Oh God. Highly educated. Yeah. Photographer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carl! Carl! Right. <laughs> I love the fact that when he gets a, a, you know, a gifted ape, he has to look up to him. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, he yeah. realises that he is superior. I love that. Right. Oh. And uh, it also likes going on computer chat rooms. <laughs> And he lost teeth. I'm gonna be sick. Right. Oh gosh! Which, right, oh. That, that's pretty amazing. You know, if an infinite number of monkeys are in an infinite number of chat rooms, they'll eventually type, "Which is your favourite episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer?" Exactly. Yeah. Carl Wilkinson, you're an idiot. But the thing is, right, you're saying about the the infinite thing again about mm. monkeys. If you put them in a room with a typewriter, they'll come up with Shakespeare. Yeah. yeah. I'd sort of agree with that, right, with monkeys who can't do other stuff, but this one I reckon's gonna be busy taking pictures and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think monkeys that are boring. <laughs> Is there a boring monkey? Is there- would you ever have a chimp and you'd go- it, it, Suzanne would go, I've got your birthday present. And you have a, it's a chimp, it's a chimp fella, he's about, you know, about a sort of like a middle-aged chimp. No, I, I'd love it, I'm talking- Would you ever go, the... I'll tell you what Suzanne, that one's boring. No, no, but I bet the monkey would get bored, I mean. Do you know what I mean? The monkey would be bored. I'd be loving it. I'd love to have a little monkey, right? <laughs> but what I'm saying is, <laughs> you really would, wouldn't you? Yeah. If you buy him a camera, he'd be happy again, wouldn't he? Well, yeah, but that's just it. You wouldn't get him. It's like if you can do other stuff, you don't want to do the boring stuff. Forget the typing. Forget the monkey's typing. Talk about this monkey that's a photographer. No, what but you we are in a way. I'm. I'm just saying that that would be happier. Monkeys that have got nothing else to do, if they can't take pictures and that, and they can't go on chat rooms. They're happy to sit in a room typing away for, typing for away. infinity, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But he's got maybe a little exhibition to put on. <laughs> do you- Do you think- Do you know most- do you know that most chimps and apes and monkeys still actually just live in trees? These are in laboratories and zoos and things. You know that, that that's not the norm, these- these monkeys yeah, yeah. walking around sort of chatting and riding bikes. Yeah. You know, that's not natural. Exactly. No, I know, but it, it's- if, it, if you left a bike in the jungle and then came back a few years like, there wouldn't be monkeys riding around on it. And a book. If you left a bike with a book in the basket, right, and you went away for ten years and you came back, there wouldn't be a whole new transport system and schools. <laughs> no. They'd eat it. They'd throw it round and eat it. Alright then, so what you're saying is you can't- see, what I think is, right, and don't take this the wrong way in that, right? Stephen Hawking. 
Yes. Right? Now, he had a bad illness. Now, <laughs> I wonder if <laughs> he'd be- illness. I wonder if he'd be as bright as he is if he didn't have that. Right. Because he's had time to sit down and he's like, well, what can I do? Yeah. They've gone and give him a book. And he read it. I like that. He'd give us another one. Yes. He's got a lot of time on his hands. Yes. Now, what I'm saying is monkeys- <laughs> yeah, Right. They- That- this one here, Coco, which I think was a gorilla. Right. Right. That wouldn't have been happy on a on a little keyboard just doing that Something all day like. because it'd be going well. I could be out taking pictures. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Play a record. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Play a record. Yeah. Done. You're an idiot. There it was. There's the catchphrase. Once more. He is. He's an idiot. He El Salvador on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, the 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 amazing Steve Merchant Thanks and the and the incredible Carl Pilkington. All right. Right. right, we've done that. Monkey news. Right, straight. Let's 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 hit them dead. Let's go straight with cheapest chimps, Carl. <laughs> right. Well, this 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 will probably finish today, to be honest. Oh, okay. Right. Because I, I, what if we looked at it, cheapest chimps? We found out that they eat one banana. Next, go on, do this one. one. Banana yeah. A day and that. yeah, that's right, it. Brilliant. So, so what? I, I, it was a long running feature. Go on. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, can I just ask again? What are the rules with cheapest chimps? It's just you know, if you wanted a chimp, how much would it sort of cost you? Brilliant. <laughs> 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 Title come first. So, yeah. Yeah. As always, that's the way to do it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, cheapest chimps. I thought I'll go online and see, you know, if I could buy one. Mm -hmm. uh, how much do you reckon? Six thousand pounds to buy a chimp. Yeah. Oh no, a ridiculous amount. What, 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 where, where can you buy them from? What sources? You shouldn't be able to buy them. eBay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, buy a chimp from who? Do is this website? That was selling stuff. What you could actually? What, have it what are you talking? What are you talking about? Right here we go. Then right, I looked at it. Here's some of the other animals that were on there. No, right. no, wait, wait a minute. What, uh, are these poachers? I don't know. What the zoos that got bored with them? What? Where can you buy a chimp? I can't. I don't want to give it a plug. <laughs> <laughs> right, some go on then. Right? right. So, what are the other animals available? Right. Well, that, that I'll give you some prices with the other animals, then you can try and work out if it's cheap. There's chimps, right? <laughs> so, uh, right, a camel. What do you reckon? Uh, £25,000. Right, $8,000 for a camel. Uh -huh. right? Sloth? <laughs> 40 quid. $3,000. Right. Last one, Bengal tiger. Oh, that's gotta be pricey. $12,000. $1,800. What? Yeah. Carl, this is an awful website. That can't be true, mate. Right, That's so awful. A chimp. Well, Five thousand dollars. I'm going to go with um, <clears throat> one thousand dollars. Fifty-five thousand. What? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. So. But I don't know what I don't know what to say because this is rubbish anyway. What website can you buy? Okay, get me a tiger. Here's a grand. Get me a tiger. <laughs> well, I don't know. You're an idiot. <laughs> Postage and packages and. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so where does the cheapest <laughs> chimps element come in? Well, that's all. Aren't you supposed to up. shout it's cheapest chimps at the end? Well, it isn't, that's why I want to finish the feature. <laughs> 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 I don't know what. What is the oh! cheapest chimps? Oh, we're not, oh, this is amazing. This is amazing broadcasting. So. We're up for a Sony Award, aren't we? How could, I hope they're listening because it's ours. Yeah, uh, I mean, it must, with, with features like cheapest chips, it's ending because they're not. <laughs> it's in the bag. And do you remember? Do you remember? Here's our fleet. Can't stop the red hot chili peppers. Well, I've got news for you, boys. I don't want to stop you. I love <laughs> your funk rock fusion. <laughs> Word of warning: no nudity. Repeat: no nudity at this gig. <laughs> I do it like you. I think you should host a whole show like that. I, it's lovely. That. So, have you ever done any um, like DJ, like proper DJ, like in a pub or a club? Because I know well, Carl had his. Uh, I had my own dis disco when I was a kid. Yeah, not proper. I, I had a, a gig once when I had to. Uh, it was uh, two nights a week in the local pub. Just the two decks that it was in a suitcase. You know, they're so sort of yeah, like all yeah, in yeah, one yeah. thing. And they just wanted the same records. They wanted uh, uh, Rod Stewart, Baby Jane. <laughs> they wanted um, about a quarter to eleven when they were drunk. They wanted uh, Don McLean's American Pie, which they all sang along course, to. Yeah. Uptown Girl, they liked. Right. Um, but yeah, I didn't used to do the talking. Did you at do all. the patter? No, I, I never couldn't. The, I, was, I, I never just, I just don't understand it. I just right. love those, those wedding sort of DJs that they have to give you extra information. Yeah. They can't <laughs> just play a song. They have to say things like. 
Ooh, all the way back there in the Commodore's <laughs> easy. <laughs> it's sort of like, they, they have to tell but you who's something. Listening? Who's wedding. listening? They're just going to play wedding. the next record. It's Wait, a, wedding. a wedding, yeah. It's like, the, what, there's like a kind of, there's like a, the controller of a local radio station listening. It just happens to be at the wedding thinking, hang on. Hold on, he's played a record but he's got extra information. <laughs> well, they should do useful things at a wedding. Like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, will the overweight aunt in the purple dress please now take the floor with little unfortunate <laughs> kid and let him hop around? <laughs> As the dance floor is currently empty, will any eight-year-old boys wearing those tiny tuxedos please <laughs> slide across the dance floor on their knees? <laughs> um, <laughs> until they are taken home and put to bed early. <laughs> uh, I went to, uh, went to one once. And, uh, the, the, the bloke who'd hired it was to, went to the DJ, and this, this DJ that had come with this sort of party, he wanted a 70s disco, and he looked like Woody Allen, right? <laughs> and I, I was sure he used to be a gentleman's outfit as, yes. like, and, um, and the, he said, oh, I wanted a 70s disco, and he went, well, I've got Bicycle Race by Queen lined up, I've got ELO, <laughs> and I've got Cliff We Don't Talk Anymore, so. <laughs> and he went, well, I went sort of more disco, he went, I don't really want to blow all my earth, wind and fire before ten. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like <laughs> old plans. There, is a rule. there are rules. <laughs> Will the seventeen-year-old girl who's dressed like Avril Lavigne please tut loudly <laughs> because I still haven't played anything by Linkin Park? <laughs> <laughs> Will the 45 year old woman recently divorced please cry now? Yeah, please uh, cry now. Please cry now because it's clear you're never gonna find another man. Because <laughs> <laughs> you used to be a DJ, didn't you? Because there is oh, a sort of rule, definitely. Fun. I remember there was like, you know, I le what I learned was that you, there are certain tunes you just do not play early on. Oh, what a night, for instance. <laughs> dun, 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 yeah. Dun, people, you never play that before like 11. You want that mm. last hour before they've got to go home to be non stop dancing. W when would you pop on Dancing Queen? <laughs> Interesting, thanks for that. Is there a buffet being served? <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, definitely. Post buffet. I remember there was a class. There was great days. I was reminded of this recently uh, by uh, ITV's Reborn in the USA. There was a great time where you could come out of the buffet or any kind of speech with a bit of Gina G. Who uh, I remember there was a great period for uh, a couple of years where that was a, always a barnstormer. Sure, sure, sadly, sure, no longer the sure. Case. What about? Um, I mean, because the danger is, of course, you go back to the seventies. Maybe you got Dancing Queen, but how many do you play before you come into the eighties with perhaps Billie Jean or Soft Cell? Soft Cell is always a classic. Yeah, I'd love yeah. to hear that. And because uh, there's always controversy now um, as to whether Love Shack is overplayed. I know that's a big discussion. I've now never about. liked it. Um, no, I just like. Will any thirty-five-year-old men please now dance ironically to bombastic <laughs> in the vain hope? That someone would actually find them attractive. <laughs> what Love Shack? Oh no, never liked Come it. Come on, Eileen. I never, I never. Yeah, all right. I, I just never liked a any records that with a hint of novelty about them. Mm. They are popular. Though. They're they're mm. floor fillers. I, right? I, I I hate them. I, I just. You haven't done DJ, now, have you? Exactly. What You've do you mean? Singing you on the other side of your face. Have you? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Not you didn't play Dexter's Midnight Runners. Um, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I didn't plan it out that much when I did it. It was like, I knew I had the tights and cigars to give away. Yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which he stole from his parents' bedroom beforehand. Yeah. Why were you giving away stuff at a disco anyway? Why were you just playing records? Because people liked it, didn't they? If, if it wasn't... It, it hasn't changed! We're doing this! We talk rubbish, we play records, and we give away crap that yeah. we found. Yeah. It hasn't changed, does it? And, uh... So I had some good times. I mean, uh, for people who haven't been listening all the time, it was called Pilkies Making Music. Yeah, Pilkies Making. It was like Pilkington, and my mate was called something Making, and the music is what we played. Yeah. Right? And they had some Perfect. cards made. Had some nice blue glossy cards made, but they were quite expensive. Yeah. So I used to hand them out, and then they'd say cheers for that, and say, no, write it down. Write the number down, I want that back. Yeah. Cause, <laughs> Brilliant. Because yeah. they were quite pricey. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Classy, classy gone. businessman there. Made I think Richard Branson used to do that. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Saved a bit of money because my dad made some, um, some lights for me. He just like- He, he said he made them, he found them in a <laughs> telephone box. <laughs> yeah. the, People were making phone calls in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Around, just, around the neighbourhood. <laughs> exactly. It was just white bulbs in like a box and, and like my mate making, he used to just flick them on and off, mm. like the thing, and, th and then they'd be in time with the music and that. And, uh, Perfect. Well, you had to sit there. And <laughs> I love the that. I love off. that. We got our we got our sound to light system. What's his name? Colin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> right. So uh, did you ever rent him out? <laughs> right, well, we never had any disasters, right? But my mate did one, right? And it, I don't know if it's that funny, really, but it. Go well, on. I'll tell you anyway, right? We, uh, he was doing this gig, and it was probably one of the biggest gigs, right, that he ever had. Must have been a couple of hundred people there, yeah. and um, in like a big sort of warehouse thing. Anyway, for some reason, there was some problem with a big speaker that fell, right? So, uh, the police turn up and stuff. Right. 
and they try to con control the night and they're going, can everyone sit down? Can we try to control it? Can, just, can you sit down? So anyway, you get a few like little groups of people sitting down on the floor and people were still stood up and the police were saying, look, you know, we're going to cancel this whole night if you don't all sit down and more and more people are sort of sitting down. It's going on for about 20 odd minutes, right? Will you please sit down? And it gets to this point when there's just one lad stood up in the middle. And he's going, look, you're ruining it for everyone. Will you, will you sit down? And it goes quiet for a bit, and someone's muttering something. And he goes, ah, the lad standing up has got calipers on his legs. Can we have a round of applause for the kid? <laughs> <laughs> who what? said that? It was this lad who was doing the, the DJ. He, he was the DJ. So, like, they kept the police and everything were saying, will you sit down, you're ruining it for everyone else. Dear. <gasps> you know, the quick way to sort that out would have been to play, play James. James. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or sit yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but most of mine were, I had good nights. Yeah. Always got rebooked and stuff and... I had a bunch of Adventure Scouts went mental once, had a food fight. What were you doing? What were you playing Adventure Scouts for? Well, we, we got booked by everyone, Rick. We, 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 I mean, we started with weddings and, uh, and local, you know, things, but we soon went up. We were, I mean, at one point we played a massive gig in a, uh, in a big tent. In the middle you of nowhere for some scouts, and they absolutely loved us. Rage Against the Machine, oh, they couldn't believe their luck. Do you know when they say, uh, um, uh, weddings and bar mitzvahs, do they get a lot of discos playing bar mitzvahs? Is that a big, I'm I don't know. So. What happens at a bar mitzvah? Well, I've not, I've not, uh, never been to a bar mitzvah. Could someone phone, present. phone in, if you've had a little bar mitzvah? Tell me what it was like, what, yeah. what, did you, what sort of, what did you play at a bar yeah. mitzvah? I don't, I don't know what the occasion is really, it's coming, becoming a man, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. We'd learn something, won't we, Carl? Yeah, alright. And do you want them to phone in? Yeah. Do we? Uh, well, do we I, I want to know if they, have, if they have, really do have DJs at bar mitzvahs. Alright. Oh, wait, so how, how interested are you in that? Well, you know, I, I don't want to embarrass myself one day. Sure. Uh, let's see, it's Carl, you've got to learn, haven't you? I'll tell you what, have we got time for the film thing as well? Yeah, play the film thing now! No, 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 let's no, play a tune, let's play a great tune. Oh, yeah. The Cure, on XFM 104.9. Wow. Brilliant. Uh, someone called in, she's been to a bar mitzvah, and they do have a, a apparently a crap disco. And apparently- and what happens? Well, uh, Carl asked her what happens, she said, um, you just sit around and see the- the kid who's getting bar mitzvah, or the man, now, uh, um, get given loads of money. Right. And, uh, I said there's a, 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 a female equivalent, and apparently there is a female equivalent of a, a bar mitzvah, but she didn't know what it was called. What's that? A bar titzvah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm just gonna <laughs> add to the list of, of people we've offended. Sorry to Jewish people as well. Yeah, we've got to So, sorry to Jewish people, Jewish sorry to Chinese people, sorry to Welsh people. Ugly um, fat women. Uh, well, I don't put the Welsh in twice. Um, <laughs> sorry to Elvis fans. Uh, uh Elvis fans. Uh, animal lovers. Animal okay. lovers. Um, brilliant. Uh, right, uh, well, lovers of great radio. Yeah. That was, uh, Music lovers. Good, well, sorry about that. Um, Apologies to all of you. Thank, uh, yeah, and oh, uh, We haven't even had time for, um, we haven't got time for the film thing this week. Oh, why not? Just, it's running, running tight, really. Are you sure? We haven't done Cheeky Freak of the Week. That's a new feature, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? That's a new feature. Cheeky Freak of the Week. Let's do Cheeky Freak of the Week. What is the cheekiest freak of the week? So I, I make, I'm just gonna apologise now, I'll just add, Freaks, sorry to freaks. Okay, yeah, right, go ahead. Well, we've, I mean, we've sort, I say it's a new feature, but we've sort of touched on it in the past with- We always talk about freaks. Hairy Chinese kid. Yeah. Um, we've had, um, the pillow man. Yeah. Are you called um, a draft excluder? Just making up that with you, Rick, on the Yeah. List? People yeah. without arms and legs. <laughs> hmm. But at least, you see, the pillow man, what do you picture? Because I was saying to Ricky in the week, right, I I'm a great fan of the elephant man. Mm. That's his, do you know that's his favourite freak? Oh, the of all the man. freaks, that's Do you know why he said, do you know why he said, he said, he said, cause you, you get what you pay for. When someone says the elephant man, it, you get what it says on the tin. Right. You know you're gonna get it. Yeah. Do you ma do you imagine, Steve, if you had a mate and, and you said, where are you going? He said, I'm gonna go and see my mate. And you go, which mate? And he said, the elephant man. Yeah. Straight away, <laughs> you haven't even met him, but you know what he's gonna look like. Yes. Right? That's what I like about that. Airy Chinese kid. Yeah, you know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Pillow man. <laughs> pillow man. Yeah, not so good. What, what does that mean? Yeah. It could be one of those big fat things on that show, couldn't it? A big pillow, like a. Yeah. Uh, you know, they had, you know that big thing about the the fat people and feeders. They were getting up to like sixty stone and that big one. And there's um there's a thing called um fat admirers that just fancy fat women, right? And uh... Are you writing that down? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, and they had blow up versions. It looked like a bouncy castle. Wow. Yeah. Really. Yeah. <laughs> 
you could blow- you'd be knackered when you blew that up. Yeah, you just wouldn't exactly. want to go forget it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, that's wow. people being cruel as well, isn't it? Because after watching the programme on Channel 4 about the, you know, the, um, fat people and fellas who like them and stuff, uh, there was a story on one of the news websites about some fella in Germany, right, who was a big fella, um, must have been about 50 stone, and he fell over, right, and I think he hurt his ankle or something, and- Timber! They sent firemen. Instead of like an ambulance. Yeah. So straight away they're having a bit of a laugh. They're not, no, they've got winching gear. Well they didn't, no, they didn't have winching gear. They had to use the hose pipes. What? To carry him out. I think it was Ananova, that news website, they had to use the hose pipes. So they made like a bed using the hose pipes. Oh yeah. And had to carry him out on that. And then they had to sort of get him into a special truck, they said. Mm -hmm. And do the same when they got to the hospital. Oof. I mean that's a bit- That's mad, isn't it? They shouldn't do that. Although, Carl, I'm loving that story. I'm just worried that we're not going to be able to fit in Cheeky Freak of the Week. What's so the Cheeky Freak of the Week? week? Alright, Cheeky Freak of the Week. Um, something I found on the net. Yeah. A fella who had 27 toes and fingers. In a jar? <laughs> no, still on him. And proper ones as well, not like little stumps and that. Proper, fully formed fingers. He was had he, like- Was he a pianist? <laughs> Close up magician. I don't know what he did. He just said that that is Cat's cradle professional. Did he, he ever work on finger bobs? <laughs> <laughs> he was saying in the week. For, for the crowd scenes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now gonna do Braveheart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um he said about the elephant man. He went he said I wanna do a thing right with freaks, where it's good and bad. He went what you said the 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 pro about him is what about the fellow with loads of fingers, or no, the elephant man? Well, he he, he said the bad thing is he stretches his jumpers <laughs> 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 when he puts them on. Yeah. yeah. And what's the good thing? <gasps> sort of, he never gets up and goes, "Oh, my hair's a bit of a mess today." <laughs> <laughs> no, he's always having another bad face day. <laughs> Oh, I'd like to complain about this head and shoulders. Are you taking the <laughs> piss? Yeah. Oh dear. So that's freaky. Didn't you freaky. see an elephant woman in uh, Manchester? Yeah, yeah, leave that. What do you mean, leave it? No, because it, it, it is sad. Oh, that is sad! But, but I mean, uh, I don't know what yeah. my next sentence is. <laughs> yeah, people always that think. should be the end. <laughs> <laughs> I don't all. need to say anymore, people will know what she looks like. It's a good <laughs> name for her. <laughs> Did she like buns? <laughs> oh dear! It was when me, uh, it's when my dad was a taxi driver, and he used to sit in the front. Yeah. And she used to get a lot of taxis. Yeah. And uh, and he only charged you half price, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he was a good guy. Well, the bad thing is as well with people like that, you don't want to offend them because they never forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh go, right. go uh, Pilkington! I, I was in, I was sat in the front of the cab, and my dad goes, "Right, we're going to go and pick the, uh, you know the." I am not can't even tell you the name of these guys, it's just evil. Right? What do you mean? No, leave it, so she's got- No, no, no! No, Carl, please. tell me what he said! No. You've already stitched him up with Stephen things from Little Welsh I fellas. Don't care. Right, what did he call her? I, 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 Steve, back no. off him, I really Carl, don't no, want to be Carl, our opinion of him is already pretty low. Look, tell me what he said. No, it's not I'm scared of what my dad gets, it's the person who's got- the She's thing not listening, is she? Well, her headphones wouldn't fit on her head. <laughs> tell me what he called her! I don't want to. Tell me what he called her, Carl. I'm getting angry, man. Tell me what he called her. No, I'll leave that. Honestly, tell me what he- It doesn't matter. Tell me what he called her! Carl, just- I'm gonna Steve. go- I, I, Seriously, I want to right, know what he called I, her. I, right, you're not gonna stop this show. We're not doing the next show until you tell me what he called her. What did your father call the elephant head woman? Tell me! Spudhead. <laughs> <laughs> how, old were, how old were you? I don't know, about nine. Did you did you, so did you expect to see a potato with a dress? He did sort of, again, it's a good name, do you know what I mean? I had an idea of what it was gonna be about and he said, do you wanna stay in the car, I'll take you on because you can't- You've spun it, you've got lovely eyes. Can't. Come on, man. fucking sink is attached to the unit which is then attached to the entire units in the entire fucking kitchen! Attached to the entire units in the entire fucking kitchen!
Can I just fucking speak? You're not the one that lives in this house. Can I just fucking speak? You're the right to stop. Can I just stop? 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 Can I just